Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much, Maria Isabel, for being here. Alison Isabel, hey, you share the same middle name. And Sara, thank you very much. So, uh, okay, good. Little by little, you are starting to appear. Now I see Sara. Remember, you are all muted so far. Okay, guys, so thank you very much. Were you able to, to work on the platform, homework 2.5? Yeah, Maria Isabel, did you get all of the wrong answers fixed? Yeah, okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, I hope that people can start logging in. It is raining. It's raining. Friday, so I know it's a little bit difficult, but let's get it started. Now, do you guys remember what was yesterday's topic? So we can review it real quick. Is the reporter speech, but when ask, when questions, when questions. With questions, right? What kind of questions? Uh, WH questions. Mm -hmm. And are those uh, yes, no, O, W, or information question? Yes. Information. Okay. Very good. So I just wanted to know that pretty much there are, you can do it with every single grammar tense, pretty much. Now, the only ones that we covered, so you can actually get it, were simple present to simple past, right? Now, would you mind giving me an example of a question, WH question in simple present? Simple present. Uh, simple present. Uh, you gave us, uh, what is your name? Uh, we answer or we change to reported speech that teacher asked what my name was. Okay, excellent, excellent. That's what I'm talking about. And Alison. No. We missed you yesterday. Sorry. No, 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 don't worry. It was not like sarcasm. I not. know. <laughs> so, um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a quick review so you keep it. What's up, um, Aldo? Good to have you here. So guys, um, what is your problem? That is a direct question. How do we make it a reported speech question? The customer is asking. What is your problem? How do we make it reported speech information question? Mm. The customer asks. Okay. Uh, the customer asks. Ask what my problem was. Okay, correct. What my problem was. So I need a volunteer to explain why. Explain what's going on with this tense. Come on, you just one. <laughs> okay, I think that the, the 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 situation here in this sentence is that the the main the question is first, as you said, is a direct question and, and this is a present simple present. Mm -hmm. That's why we we have to to change the the verb to be to was mm -hmm. and okay. put it at. I don't know if I'm right. You are definitely right. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So remember, if we have simple present, we go to simple past. Now, pay attention that right now we are using um, the verb to be. And normally was goes in the middle or at the end? Mm -hmm. Where? In the middle or at the end? Yeah. At the end. At the end, correct. Was yeah. or where? The verb to be. Great. Now, um, 
How did you do? Yes. What do you prefer to eat? Hey, JC, welcome back. Thank you. I go in and hope you're feeling well. Um, thank you, sir. Daniel, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for logging in. Sure. What up, what up? So, guys, what do you prefer to eat? How do we make that question into reported speech? It could be the teacher asked mm -hmm. me what I prefer to eat. Say it again. The teacher asked me, what do I prefer to eat? Uh -huh. Okay, you kind of have a very good idea. Now, remember, guys, that me, we are not going to use it. Okay. Right? So we already have who is asking. Then we have the phrase asked. Okay. And what happened, guys? What happens with the auxiliary verb? It disappeared. It disappeared. <laughs> so the teacher asked what? And then? What I preferred. Uh -huh. to eat. I, correct. Preferred to eat. <laughs> eat. Bye, Daniel. Correct. Now, so we go simple present to simple past. This is a review as well for the people who were not here yesterday. Mm -hmm. Then you can uh, take notes of it. Now, okay. what happens if we already have a simple past? What did you do today? We have to go one step back uh -huh, and exactly. go to the, to the past perfect. Correct. That's right. Okay. Excellent, Aldo. So how would it be, guys? First, we need who is saying that. Make it up. Uh -huh. Teacher. Always me. Always me. Always. Teacher. All blame to me. Uh -huh. Teacher asked. Asked. Always asked, a phrase. Teacher asked. What? The WH, correct. And then remember, we don't want this to be a question. So that's why we eliminate the, the auxiliary. This is like a normal sentence in past perfect. Okay. So the teacher asked why, what? Mm -hmm. I had done today. What I had or, done uh, today. You got I it, Maria Isabel. Today. Um, I'm sorry. Um, don't pay attention to the question mark at the end. It was a typo. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to have the question mark right there. Now, we also have will. What is the past of will? Would. 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 Would, exactly. So why will you... Um, eat that. Por qué te vas a comer eso? <laughs> How do we make it in reported speech? <laughs> Who is asking? Sara. Me. Oh. Sara. Okay. Sara is asking. Sara. Uh -huh. Sara asked. asked. Why? Why? Why the same WH as in the question? Eat. What would you? Why I would? Why I? Yes. Why I would eat that? Remember that if you have would I would I that sounds like a question, and it cannot sound like a question. So it is. You swear. I have. I have a question. Okay, I'll when, answer your question in, in a second. Uh, Give me just a second. Let me finish this. Okay, no, no, no. Take your time. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Sarah asked why I would. Um, Let's finish it. Sarah asked why I would. Eat, eat that. that. Eat uh, that. that. What happens to the verb? Do we send it to the past or no? No. Yes. no. No, we don't. Eat, we don't change it. Why? Because we because are changing the will. The will is the auxiliary. That's right. Aldo and Sara, great. Because we have wood. So for Alison, 
Juan Carlos. Yes, this is pretty much the, the topic that we covered yesterday. So you can have an idea because we might be yeah. using it today. And also the class is already uploaded, right? You can watch it again if you have any questions. So, Sara, tell okay. me what's, what's your question? When we can difference when you are going to talk about you in singular or you in plural? Context. Context, okay. Context, exactly. Thank you. And uh, okay. that's pretty much depending on what they are telling you. If I tell you you, it can be singular or plural. But if I tell you, hey, you guys, you guys, okay. for example, is going to be in plural. Plural. That is, is very difficult to understand if, if the context is not clear. It can lead yes. to interpretation. All right, very good. Okay. So, guys, from uh, yesterday's class, do I have any group or a couple complete? Because there was a... There was a presentation pending. We need more time, teacher. We need more time. Mm. Is yes, there, please. Is there any of the groups complete or no? Let me. Apparently not. <laughs> okay. So the guys, presentation I, was about the interview. Was about what? the call, like calling a customer service rep having problems and working with reported speech. Yeah, but I don't think there's any, any group. I might surprise you later, I'll think about it. So guys, let's go ahead and start. Today we have a lot of conversation. I hope we can actually work it a little bit that way. Give me a second, let me go to today's page. Okay, so help me out and as you know, Read with me, please. I will be able to. I will be able to. Good. I know I am not sharing the screen right now because I want to test your listening skills, okay? So okay. Re repeat after me, please. Identify issues. Identify issues. And tips related to hidden charges. And tips related to hidden charges. And delivery issues. And delivery issues. delivery issues. When shopping online. When shopping online. Now, try to remember everything. Identify issues and tips related to hidden charges and delivery issues when shopping online. Identify issues or live. Okay, good. Just testing your, your comprehension a little bit and activating you some. All right, guys. It's, not, it's not that easy. Okay, so here, I'm let's go ahead and, and, and read. Is this the first thing that you heard? What I have highlighted? No, I'm asking you. Is this the same that you heard when you were not seeing? I miss yep. hiding and shopping. I don't know why shopping, but shopping too. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and listen and read. Identify issues and tips related to hidden charges. Everybody. Identify issues and tips related to hidden charges. Hidden. Hidden. Hidden charges. Hidden. And delivery issues when shopping online. And delivery issues when shopping online. Now, everything, identify issues and tips related to hidden charges and delivery issues when shopping online. Identify issues and tips related to hidden charges and delivery issues when shopping online. Good. And a new vocabulary right here. Hidden. 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 Yes, yes. Say it with me, please. Hidden. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. It is the past. It is the the, the past participle of hide. 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 Mm -hmm. So we got uh, hide. What is the past of hide? 
hid in the past participle hidden hidden correct now this is actually being used as an adjective okay even though verbs the, the past participle of the verbs can be used as adjectives to describe so for example hidden cargos escondidos broken quebrado right so we can also use it kind of to describe now i need a volunteer to read that please go ahead more Identify issues and tips related to hidden charges and delivery issues when shopping online. Nice, great. So guys, before we go with this, um, have you ever had an experience with hidden charges? Do you know what no. hidden charges no. are to begin with? Oh, no, I don't. Do you know what hidden charges are? Yes. 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 How can you define hidden charges? It's like uh, when you are going to pay more money and they don't explain don't explain clearly in mm -hmm. the in the uh, in the online store. In the bill. In the online store. In the bill. In the bill that's right. Um, well, Contract you also as well. Or in the contract, that's right. Normally that happens with banks. They are not really mm -hmm. hidden, but we never read the 20 pages of the terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. So that's kind that's of our, our fault. How do you say la letra pequeña? Uh -huh. I don't know. Letra small letter. <laughs> this is the small letters or the small print? Small print. Small Prince. Did, you, yes. did you read the small print? print? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. We normally don't do it. So that's one of the problems that we may have. Have you ever heard of any experience of a hidden charge? I heard once. Mm -hmm. I heard once one of my, one of the, the a father of one of my students uh, came uh, for an interview asking my not permission that he was telling me that he will take a, his son to Spain mm -hmm. because the tickets on Iberia were four hundred and eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. So the his sister will would buy the, the tickets and they will go. So uh, I told him I've heard that sometimes they they only give you that price, but that only means for you to go from here to Spain, not for coming back, and without um, taxes and fees. Mm -hmm. you, you should uh, better try to do to, to the process if you are, uh, as if you were going to buy online, and then you will know. Next day, he came again and say, Miss, thank you so much. They were $480 just for going without taxes and fees. So at the end of the process, they were about $1,120 each one. So they didn't go. Big difference, right? Yes. Big yeah. difference. Okay. Um, and he was so excited. He said, oh, we are going $400. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say that. I'm $400 that I don't have, right? But I would feel excited. Okay. Yeah. So guys, thank you, Maria Isabel. Do you know how to say ticket de ida? Y ticket de ida y vuelta. No. One way ticket. Uh -huh. You got the first one, one way ticket. And what do you think that is ida y vuelta? Round trip. Round. Round. That's right. You got a one way ticket and also round trip. Great. Remember, guys, every time that you participate, you are giving me tools to help you with corrections, with vocabulary, with pronunciation. So if you want me to help you, participate. Thank you very much. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and move forward on this. And please, repeat after me. Let me, let me try this experiment one more time. Alan is reporting some questions. Alan is reporting some questions. Okay, change of plans. I like to 
improvise. Dictation. Okay. Dictation. I'm just going to do it two times. I'm just going to say it two times. Try to okay. write down what you hear, and then we compare. Okay. I'm pretty sure you might have a like laugh a at the end. Phone. Something similar, similar idea. Are you ready with pen and paper? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Not having pen and paper in a class like this is like going to the toilet without toilet paper. So, congratulations. <laughs> All right. No, it's more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Alan is reporting some questions. Alan is reporting some questions. A customer who's visiting. A customer? A customer who's visiting. Who's visiting. Their website is asking. Their website is asking. Period. Period. Okay, Andrea, thank you very much for being here. And we also have Marcela. Okay. Welcome, Andrea and Marcela. What we are doing right now is a dictation exercise, okay? So, turkey face on this one. I'm just going to say it twice, and you're right now. Let's continue. Read the conversation. Read the conversation. Read the conversation. To find out the answers Maria suggests. To find out the answers Maria suggests. <laughs> Period. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. We write that? Yeah, yes. Take turns Take practicing turns. the conversation with a partner. Period. All right, you ready to compare? Yeah. This was fairly easy, I gotta tell you. All right, let's go ahead and compare what you have. I'm gonna read it one more time so you can confirm, compare. Alan is reporting some question. A customer who's visiting their website is asking. Read the conversation to find out the answers Maria suggests. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Guys, how many mistakes did you get? Be honest, if it's zero, zero. I got one. Is it in there? I got one. I think, I, I think, I know which one is it. To find, the, find out, I have this missing out. The answer. Maria suggests. I have two. Two. Because I I wrote I wrote uh, reporting with WP. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> and okay. find out. I just wrote, wrote oh. find. Okay. Did anybody have any issues with who's visiting? No. No. Who's visiting? I, after that, I wrote uh, not there. Who's visiting the website is what I wrote. Oh, it says okay. their website. Yeah, that was my mistake too. 
I write uh, the website, not their way, uh -huh. website. It might be because of the LinkedIn, visiting their website, there. Their, yeah. their I heard website. they. <laughs> okay, great. So, um, for guys, mistake. <laughs> for mistakes, this is yeah. because some of you have mentioned that you have kind of issues with your listening. This is a, an exercise that you can do yourselves at home. If you drink wine, a glass of wine. If you drink beer, <laughs> a, a, a beer. If you drink chocolate milk, then chocolate milk. So use Coca Cola? Your, or your Coca Cola too, that's right. Okay, so this is an exercise you can do. Let's go ahead and continue. Now let's speed up. Repeat after me, please. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about decorative pillows. Uh -huh. I made a mistake. It's um, decorative pillows. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. Decorative pillows. Decorative pillows. Correct. Now I'm going to do it one more time. There's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. There's this There's customer, this customer, the online, this customer this in the online, online store asking, asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. Correct. Any new vocabulary? No? Volunteers to read then. Nope. Just one. Me, Daniel. Okay. Okay. What's up? Is Alison? it going to be you, Daniel, or ladies first? You decide. Okay. Uh, there's, this, there's this customer in the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. Good, 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 good. Here, great. We were missing the questions, ending sounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here is going to be the online, the stress online. in the online store. Online. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, do it again, please. Okay, there's this customer in the online store mm -hmm. asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. Okay, one more time, pay attention to online and pay attention to questions. Okay, there's this customers, sorry, there's this customers in the online store, in the Sorry, the, there's this customer in the online store asking in the online a lot. online store. In the online store, okay. Uh -huh. In the online store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillows. Questions. A lot of questions. Questions. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay, about the decorative pillows. Okay, there we go. Good job, sir. Practice makes perfect. Let's continue, everybody. What would the customer like to know about the product? What would, what would the, the customer, customer like, like to know, know about, about the product? The product? What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free. Well, well the, the customer, customer asked, asked if shipping, if shipping was, was free. For free. For free. For free. For free. For free. For free. Mm. For free. And then you gotta make it vibrant here. And then no es con and, de, okay? And, and then, then no. And then and then. Then. And then. And then. This and then, same person then, posted a different this, question. This, this same then, person posted a different question. Posted. 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 One more time. And then this same person posted a different question. And then, and then this, this same person posted a different question. question. Good. Here we do not pronounce the E. We don't say different. We say different. Different, different question. Question. Different. 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 Question. Different. 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 Question. Different. 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 Question. 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 Yeah. Now, the reason why I make so much emphasis on, mm -hmm. on reading and repeating is because pretty much there are 44 phonemes in English. If you know how to work with these 44 phonemes, they will repeat over and over again. Every time that you see the, the ending, uh, well, the suffix pretty much, T-I-O-N is not ion, it is not 
Chong. It is. Shen. 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 Question. 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 Like if there's no vowel in between from the sh to the n. Question. 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 How do you pronounce this? What I'm writing? Conversation. 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 That's right. Conversation. Mutilation. 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 Not the best example, but it's what came yeah. to my mind. So. <laughs> you watch Gore. No, 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 I don't. It's just <laughs> vocabulary. Uh, let's see what Question. else. Question. Presentation. Ah, it's not. Presentation. 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 So, the point is this, guys. Una vez ustedes aprenden un fonema, tiranlo en bloques así, Y ya lo van a poder decir todo el tiempo. Su pronunciación va a mejorar mucho. Solo son 44. Right? Yeah. How many, how many phonemes do we have in Spanish? I don't even know. Me neither. Me too. Me I don't know. I have no idea. Me idea. That's why I teach English, not Spanish. Okay, so let's continue. <laughs> they asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. They, they asked ask whether the pillow were made in China, in China or, America. or America. They asked. Uh, they asked. Asked. They asked. They asked. 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 Don't they separate. They asked. They asked. They asked. They asked. They asked. Whether the pillows were made in China or America. Where the pillows were made in China or America. America. Exactly. And finally, yes. and finally, 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 the A finally. is not so strong. Finally, 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 the customer asked if we had a if we have a return policy. The customer asked if we have a return policy. Good. Any vocabulary question right there? Oh. Whether? Um, it's like if. Okay. Oh, that's a good tip, guys. Whether, be careful with the pronunciation. That's a yeah. homophone, right? And the writing. Because we have... Whether. Whether. Weather. Weather. Mm -hmm. As the rainy uh -huh. season. But the pronunciation uh -huh. is pretty much the same. Yeah. Weather, yeah. weather, context. Weather, where. Mm -hmm. And weather, this weather, weather, this weather is the same as if we want to say if. If, if. yes. Mm -hmm. If uh -huh. means see, right? But as a condition, yes. not to answer. Are you okay if? Okay. No, right? <laughs> it doesn't work. It's not that kind of yes. Right? It's a condition. Okay. Weather. weather. Okay. Weather. Now weather, let's... Weather. Weather. Everything together, please. Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free, and then this same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Go. Well, well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free, free. And then, and then, then the next person was asked if the pillows were made in China, in China or America. And then the next person was asked if the pillows were made in China or America. Finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Good. Thank you, guys. Volunteer, please. Me, Alison. Go ahead, Alison. Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free, and then this same person posted a different question. They asked us where the pillows were made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. 
Okay, good. I liked it. Nice fluency, copying the, the intonation and everything. So here, focus a little bit on this one. Asked. 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 Uh -huh. Asked. As we were practicing Asked. yesterday. Asked. In here. Asked. 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 Mm -hmm. This is actually a help Maybe. sound. Bye, guys. Real quick. Cuando las palabras terminan en sonido de T o D, y vienen seguidas, just depende de la consonante, pero con casi todas las vocales, se llama held sound, sonido sostenido. Entonces significa que la E no se pronuncia. Right? The E is not pronounced when you have nothing else after it. So you're going to say made in. Made in. Made in. Sostenemos made la D in. y la soltamos cuando llegamos a la E. Made in China. Made in China. Made in China. Mm -hmm. Great. Made Let's continue. China. Let the customer... I, I want to... Quick question here because we are talking about one customer, and mm -hmm. then the, the paragraph says they asked, "Why change? Do we need to change, or or is a typo?" I guess it's a it's not a typo. I guess it's a mistake. <laughs> uh, so a typo normally is something that is misspelled, mm -hmm. right? Como mal escrito. But this is a mis probably it is a mistake because of the context. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. See, this customer won. The customer won. And then you have they, so you are totally right. Great. My, my concern is about the midterm, because if we will find things like this, we, we all will be crushed. Yep. And when the midterm comes, we're going to have, next Friday, we're going to have a review of all of the topics covered. Everything that is coming in the midterm, I will try to help you during the class. Obviously, I'm not gonna help you do the midterm, right? But I'm gonna give you every single tool I have and I will help you later with any concerns. So don't worry, I got you on this one. Good, uh, good observation, Marie Isabel. Let's go ahead and continue. Let the customer know, how do you pronounce this? Let the, let the customer let know. Let the customer know. Let the customer know. That? International, that, that, that international, international shipping has uh -huh, an good. extra cost. Exactly. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost. Let, let the, the customer know, know that international, international shipping has an extra cost. cost. And, tell the, and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please, post a link in the comments to the return policy document. 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 Post. Post. China. China. Straight. Volunteer to read it, please. Me, Marcela. Thank you, Marcel. Yeah, let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost, and then and, and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to their return policy document. Okay, great, excellent. Nothing to correct. Guys, I have a question. Is the shipping for free? No. No. Does it say how much? No. no. Are the pillows made in China or America? China. 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 Do they have a return policy? Yes. Yes, they have. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, Very good. Have. So what we're going to do today, guys, is that we are going to work a little bit with vocabulary. Okay. In this type of vocabulary, you're going to be having the tools in order for you to... Um, in order for you to pretty much be able to talk about return policies, all right? Now, unfortunately, the um, pretty much the link provided in the in the book doesn't really go that much with the returns policies, so we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Okay, what do you take into consideration when you want to get something returned? Or first, tell me, why would you, I have a lot of people without camera, guys. 
why would you return a product? What are the reasons to return a product? Uh, because of the quality. Okay. Because the product have a damage. Okay, the product. Maybe it's not what we asked for. Okay, so we have three different reasons, right? Now. Wrong size, wrong color. Wrong size, wrong color, bad condition. Now, what do you do? When you want to return an item. What do you normally do when you want to return an item? Uh, ask. If what, it is possible. What do you do? Okay. So that will be the, the return policy. I know that I'm bombing you with questions, guys, but we're gonna go to the break rooms and have a little discussion about this. That's why I'm writing them down. Now, what is it included in the return policy? Does anybody have <laughs> an experience returning something? No. No. Eh? No one. Only changing the product, but returning it, no. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and expand, not only online. Let's say that you bought something at the supermarket, at a hardware store, I don't no. know, Epa, Freon. When you get home, oh my God, it's different. Um. I can believe that from the whole group, no one has gone through that. We are very careful. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was on me then. Once I bought need, a pair of shoes, one was blue and the other one was black. Okay. <laughs> so you need the ticket. What do you think? What else do you think you need? And your ID. Your ticket and ID. Okay, now, in some cases, guys, you have to pay for shipping, okay? Now, this is most common in the United States. Have you ever worked for a company that works with uh, shipping? Yes. Yep, okay, what is the process? They send you a uh, performa invoice with the things you ask for. And they, they send you, uh, when you confirm the, the buy, they send you uh, the buy. That's the correct way to say la compra. The purchase. No, oh, the purchase, sorry. Mm -hmm. And they sent you also a packing list and a tracking number. Okay. When they so, send you the things for our country. Okay. So that's pretty much it. In the States, it is normal because it is very big that they send you a box for you to ship it to them. And that includes a shipping label. Right, shipping label is pretty much la etiqueta of the item you are shipping. And they give you a tracking number. Do you know what a tracking number is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Does anybody doesn't know? Because I see some faces like, no, you don't. Yep. No? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> I'm joking. Guys, come on, wake up. I know it's Friday and the topic is kind of special but we gotta keep it up right so this is we're gonna uh, do a change of plan because i see that it's not gonna be that good. this is what we're gonna do guys for today i want you to speak as much as you can by the end of the class you will be able to um pretty much perform a role play about you dealing with hidden fees in returning cost in returning policies okay so what i want you to do right now is that i want you to go to the breakout rooms and you will answer these questions why would you return a product what do you do when you want to return a product and the last one have you ever dealt with hidden charges 
Okay. So those three questions, we're gonna go and practice them, and I'm gonna give you ten minutes as a group. Okay. What are the questions, guys? Number one. Uh, are you going to send us the questions uh, with the WhatsApp group? Let me see if I have it open. If I have it open, then yes. Yes, I have it open. I'll send it to you. But I just want to confirm. Okay, thank what you. is question number one? Why would, Why would you be a product? A product? Good. Question number two? What, what do you do when you want, you want to return, to return a product, an item? An item. You link it. An item. Great. An item. And number three? Have you ever deal with hiding charge? What is hiding charge? Hidden. Hidden is the past participle of hide. Yeah. Cargos ocultos. Cargos ocultos, exactly. Do you remember Maritza, the shipping, the shipping cost for Maritza? Maritza, the floating head? It was a hundred dollars shipping and I didn't let her know. That's a hidden charge. Surprise, your bill is not 100, it is 200. All right, guys, go ahead and accept it. And then we're gonna come back so you can tell me about your experience. Bam. There we go. All right, make sure you accept the invite, please. Marcel, are you still having issues with your computer? Okay. When you are buying it online or yeah. in a physical store, uh, in the physical store, when okay, in my case, it's the same. I open uh, the product in my house. Uh, I I can see the that product have a damage, and then uh, we we'll return the 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 store with the product, with the bill, with the bill, with the ID, and and talk with the salesperson. Okay. And explain what have a problem. And uh, then change the product for other, other new. The similar product or the same product? The same product. Okay. No. Yes. Um. Yes. Uh. Because of because of the size, the size was wrong. Okay. You purchased the uh, watches online. Um. No. I have never. I have never returned um an online purchase. Yes. Only. Uh, here in El Salvador, that, that I have uh, go to the store and, and buy the product. Okay. In my case, uh, it was really the same. The last year I bought a um, pair of shoes, but... Okay. And then what do you do when you want to return an item? item? Well, first I check if um if I'm able to return okay. an item Very if it important. has um I don't know if that's correct but if it has warranty you can ask for them to send you other pro other item or change the one that they already give you okay. that they already gave you gave you okay. Mm -hmm. And you, Roxana? Do you mean when you want to return an item? Um, 
I if they have like a phone number or something, I yeah. call them directly in, and I said why I want to return it, return the product. Mm -hmm. If they don't have like a phone number, I usually with the person who gives bring me the product, I he or she is the I don't know the third person who mm -hmm. going to <laughs> solve the problem because uh, he usually is a he <laughs> he called to the company and said what is wrong with with the product so uh, that's the way I do. <laughs> Yeah, and we also have to check uh, where, or ask them the procedures we have to follow to return the items and also when I, they're going to change you the item if it's wrong or but if, uh, if they are going to give you another new one. Yes, that's true. Okay, that's the um, number, three. That's number three, okay. Have you ever dealt with hidden, hidden. charges? Hidden. No, I, I haven't. Hidden. 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 Mm -hmm. No, I hidden. haven't. Have you ever dealt with hidden charges? No, I haven't. Or someone you know. Someone that I know. Well, company, what else? Um, Check the pie. The expiration, the expiration time, right? Yeah. The expiration times and call to the, the store. Call to the store. But I didn't call. I usually go, go with the okay. product Hello, that bro. I want the that I want to, to, to return, maybe not return, um, just uh, change it. Yeah. Okay. So, how the answer to the question number two <laughs> it would it would be the full answer it sounds uh, like this so for answer number two for question number two what what do you do when you want when you normally want to return an, an item we we'll look for the ticket and the ID in our ID, and also the cover, the cover for the for the products. We check the expiration time or date, and we call or go to the store in order to change it. Yes. Is that right for you? Yeah. Okay. And I, I haven't read that, so as you as you can imagine, it doesn't pass from here. <laughs> it didn't fit me. No. no. I can even try on. Try it on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I, um, I, I, I change, I change uh, um, a pant, a pant. Uh, a pair of pants. Uh, pants is always pair, uh, pair. because, you know, it comes with two legs. Okay, pair of pants. Mm -hmm. Yes? Exactly. Okay. Porque eran pequeños. Because one... They were slim fit too. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, only that. Or they were too small for me. You can okay, say that. Okay. They yeah, were yeah, yes. too small for me. 
They were too small, demasiado pequeño para ustedes, así va. Ah, no, para mí no. Ok. <risa> para, para mí que lo volví. <risa> yeah. They were too small. Ok. Only in, only in occasion, only that. De ahí nunca he devuelto nada. Ni miedo. I have okay. never returned anything. I, 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 ha, I had never, I had never returned, returned anything. Returned anything. Okay. All right, very good. Um, let's go ahead and continue. Okay. 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 And, and... Alrighty, guys, so we are coming back and uh, I'm going to ask some of you to answer these questions, please. Give me a second for everybody to be here. Thank you, my man. Okay, so guys, I need a volunteer to answer question number one. Why would you return a product? Just one volunteer out of many I have. Me? Me? Oh, no, not Alison, Alison. All right, go ahead, girl. Okay. Yes. Uh, I will return a product if the product is damaged, if it's not what I asked for, if it's, for example, the wrong size, if it's incomplete okay. this was the answers we got from the group okay great let me help you with the pronunciation Alison is gonna be damaged damaged that damaged. Damaged. damaged like ch uh -huh. ch but t at the end damaged t damaged. Um, as a matter of fact the the pronounce the phoneme this phoneme is age a. Damage. Damage. G -g -g -g. But people normally pronounce it as CH. Right? So damaged. Damage. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Um, what would you do when you want to return an item? Next one, please. One volunteer for this one. Me. Maria. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Maria. Okay, we, we think because not not Marcela or I, we, we have never done that. But we think that the first thing you must do is check if the voice, uh, the website has a return policy. Mm -hmm. It's the first thing. Then call them or text to that company or website for let them know that your purchase should purchase. 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 Pur was purchase. not correct or was not what you asked for and that you want to return the product. And then we, we hope that they will give you the, the instructions so you must follow what they want to do. As for example, we were, we were talking about that. I have seen, I, I have never returned that, but I have seen that in the most part of the parts, the, the sites, you need to have with you the original package, all the bags, all the envelopes, all the cushion things and anything before you, you said, and it's one of the things they ask you if you have all the original envelope and things. Okay. And do you think they do that for people not to have it in complete in a couple of months and avoiding to deal with the with the return? Mm -hmm. Could yes. be. Well, no. So in that way, if, if you say no, I don't have those. Oh, we cannot help you. We can uh huh. Help. It's like an easy way out, right? An easy way out. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys, before we continue at 9 p.m., let's go ahead and take attendance. Everybody with your cameras on, please. And let's deal with it. Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera? No? Okay. Teacher, she said that she was traveling from Suchitoto to her house. Oh, is she the one who did it? Okay. So, um, por motivo de... de Isafurp? Ana María Mazoquín Rivera está viajando desde su trabajo a su hogar. Notificó por WhatsApp. Thank you. Next one, Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Here. I see you. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. There you are. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. No, I think 
I don't know if it's going to return. Give me a second. Okay. Gladys Idale Melendez Hernandez. Present. Okay, I see you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. Okay. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. I see you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo. Oh, Ernesto. Oh. Amy yeah. Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. See you. David Orlando Medio. Okay. Marcela Beatriz López Pira. Present. See you. Roxana Ometilia Ríos de Quiñones. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Okay. Do you know what present. happened to Juan Carlos? Present, present. Wow, ah, there you are. With the red hat. Yeah, I have seen you before, but suddenly you disappeared. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Uh, she said that she also said that she was in in, in class at the university. Okay, ya me acordé de ese mensaje. Lo que pasa guys es que no todo no lo guardo todo porque mi teléfono como que no le gusta mucho guardar números y se me traba. All right. <laughs> Abner, Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Abner. Okay, I see you raising your hand. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. I see you. Celia Carmina, perdón, Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. I see you. Celia Carmina Pineda Ábalos. Celia, she's not here. Karen Elin García Benítez. Present. Thank you very much. Sara Elizabeth Rez Ortiz. Present. Okay, and then Maria Isabel Herrera. Okay, thank you very much. Very good, guys. And uh, we're going to be covering a video that I have for you, which we're going to be playing without subtitles and then with subtitles, okay? Now, let me close a couple of things before we can get this done. This is an, a video from the internet, from YouTube. Like I said, if there's a topic you're interested, just go ahead and look for videos related to it. All right, do me a favor, guys. Go ahead and mute your mics. I'm gonna play this video. Try to catch as much as you can. And write down if you have any questions about vocabulary, because you're going to need it. This is specifically about credit cards right, because it's what you use to purchase online, but it has related vocabulary to other things. I am going to turn my camera off because of the bandwidth. Okay. There you go, get your mics, please. Hey everyone, Hillary here from Thrive. Today we're gonna to talk about the hidden fees of payment processing. Consumers out there like to pay with credit card. I know I do. But finding the right payment processor for your business can feel overwhelming. We're here to help. Today we're going to talk about rates and hidden fees and all the things you need to know to find the right payment processor for you. The largest expense that you'll pay before any markups or fees is the overall transaction rate. This is the rate that you'll see most companies average. The standard, 2.9% or less. Another thing to be mindful of when looking at different companies is the type of transaction and if that changes the rate that they're gonna charge you. So you know how sometimes you give your credit card number over the phone, there are some companies that actually charge a higher rate to process that transaction than if the card is present. Some processors out there actually charge a monthly account fee and others actually have a monthly minimum transaction amount that you have to hit every month. And if you don't, you have to make up the balance. And then there are these things called chargeback and retrieval fees. Those are unavoidable, definitely unexpected, and kind of painful. They cost about $15 to $25 per, and that happens when a customer goes to their bank to dispute a charge with you. If you ever want to end your contract, 
most payment processing companies will charge you a termination fee. So something to look out for when finding a payment processing company, look for one with a fixed termination fee. Variable ones can get pretty costly. Calculating what you can expect to pay for a credit card processing can be confusing, but Thrive makes it easy. Thrive integrates with PayPal's Braintree, has no monthly account fee, no monthly minimum transaction amount, standard 2.9% overall transaction rate, and if you want to take a credit card over the phone, we won't charge you extra for that. Thrive, you're all in Alrighty guys, I just want to know, I just want to tell you that this is not an advertising for this company, okay? It's, it's the most appropriate video I was able to find. Now, is it difficult for you to understand her? Be honest. A little bit. A little, a little bit, bit because fast. Yeah. For me, yes. She was talking so fast. Okay, I understand. Now, in this one, is there any piece of vocabulary that you want to know what the meaning is? Yes. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. All right. So, I'm not going to answer you right now. <laughs> Why? Because I wanted to compare what you wrote with the subtitles. Right? Now, not all of the subtitles are 100% accurate because YouTube does this automatically. Okay, so I'm going to play uh -huh. one more time. And I want you to, to test if you're able to understand more while listening and reading. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. We're going to play it one more time. Microphones on mute, please. Hey, everyone. Hillary here from Thrive. Today, we're going to talk about the hidden fees of payment processing. Consumers out there like to pay with credit card. I know I do. But finding the right payment processor for your business can feel overwhelming. We're here to help. Today we're gonna to talk about rates and hidden fees and all the things you need to know to find the right payment processor for you. The largest expense that you will pay before any markups or fees is the overall transaction rate. This is the rate that you'll see most companies advertise. The standard, 2.9% or less. Another thing to be mindful of when looking at different companies is the type of transaction and if that changes the rate that they're gonna charge you. So you know how sometimes you give your credit card number over the phone, there are some companies that actually charge a higher rate to process that transaction than if the card is present. Some processors out there actually charge a monthly account fee and others actually have a monthly minimum transaction amount that you have to hit every month. And if you don't, you have to make up the balance. And then there are these things called chargeback and retrieval fees. Those are unavoidable, definitely unexpected, and kind of painful. They cost about $15 to $25 per, and that happens when a customer goes to their bank to dispute a charge with you. If you ever want to end your contract, most payment processing companies will charge you a termination fee. So something to look out for when finding a payment processing company Look for one with a fixed termination fee. Variable ones can get pretty costly. Calculating what you can expect to pay for a credit card processing can be confusing, but Thrive makes it easy. Thrive integrates with PayPal's Braintree, has no monthly account fee, no monthly minimum transaction amount, standard 2.9% overall transaction rate, and if you want to take a credit card over the phone, we won't charge you extra for that. Alrighty guys, so coming back, please be honest with you. If the answer is no, just go ahead and say it. Now, was it easier this time for you to understand or did you understand at least a little bit more? I understand a little bit more. I understand a little bit more. Why do you think that is? Because of the closed caption. Because of the closed caption, that's right. You are able to match what you are listening, you give it a face, right? That's like blind people, whenever they, they talk to you, sometimes they wanna to touch uh, your face so they can imagine how you would look, right? So going with the vocabulary, what kind of vocabulary did you 
did you learn today or you want to learn today? I just heard retrieval fees. Retrieval fees, me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a chargeback. Charge? Overall something, she said mm -hmm. overall something, but I didn't hear. Uh, that is a chargeback. And whenever, a bite of both. whenever you are disputing, do you know what is the meaning of dispute? Yeah. No. To discuss. No. Nice, nice. If you don't know something, let me know. Dispute, guys, is pretty much when, for example, there is an unauthorized charge in your account. So you call your bank and you dispute it. You say, hey, I didn't do this transaction. I want you to please give it, give it back. Right? That's a dispute. It's a process for you to get something back. Like in Spanish, it's disputa, but it sounds like conflict. In this case, it's not. Did I answer your question with dispute? Uh -huh. Okay. So whenever you dispute a charge, that has, most of the times, a charge back. Dispute in English is like inform. Depends. Depends. A dispute is when something is not right and you want to fix it. Okay. So, like I said, for example, okay. this charge is not correct. I'm going to dispute it. Why are you charging me $200? This was $100 only. Give me the other 100 back. That is a dispute. Okay. Right? Now, you can dispute other things, but in this particular context is when you're trying to get the money back. And that has a cost. That's why it's called charge back because it's a charge back at you. So you got to pay whenever you're disputing a charge. It's like a commission fee for all of the regulations and stuff. And that's a retrieval fee. Uh huh. It's pretty much the same as a retrieval fee. So okay. What is a fee? Aha, uh -huh. I'm glad you asked that. What do you think is a fee, guys? Who can give me a quick definition? It's a kind of a tax or charge. Like a commission it's, that it's a the commission. company Tarifa. charge? Mm -hmm. Tarifa. What, Tarifa. Happens, what happens when you pay late? More <laughs> like a multa. So you have something to pay. That is the fee. fee. Late fee. Okay. It's a fee, a charge, because you paid late, right? So a fee is a charge to you for whatever reason. It can be a late fee. It can also be a transaction fee. Have you ever withdrawn money from administration. a bank? From an administration ATM. fee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you ever gotten money from an ATM that is not your bank? Mm. Yeah. Or in another, yeah. I was in Costa Rica once and I didn't have cash on me. So I had to use one of their ATMs. They charged me more money because it wasn't my bank. Yes. It's a, a per percent for it's the It's a percentage. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So a fee is a charge to you. An extra charge. Mm -hmm. It's an extra charge. What other fee can you have? Have you ever seen your CAES bill or your Del Sur bill? Yeah. Yes, que el poste, yes every month. <laughs> que el cargo por el poste, que el cargo por vivir en El Salvador, que el cargo por quiso calor. All of those are fees. Por fiesta Agostina. Ah, ahí está, right? Uh, but, for for the lamp you don't have, the lamp you don't have in front of your house, but you uh -huh. pay for that. Exactly, that, that's exactly it. So or that's a fee. The lamp is, is in front of your house and your house and it doesn't work. Yep, but they charge anyways. They always have fees. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other vocabulary that you have gotten from this video? Make up the balance. What is that? Okay. To make up is, make up. for example, let's say that in some... Uh, <coughs> I got it. Let's say that someone gives you, um, someone asks you to buy something. Here's $10. Go to the, to the supermarket. Hey, you know what? I had to pay $12. You only gave me 10. So you have to make up the other two, right? To make it even. 
you have to give me two dollars so you can make up the twelve dollars that I paid. Clear or not that much? Es yeah. as when we say in Spanish nivelar or compensar. Compensar. Mm -hmm. Como compensar. Ah. But yeah, it has it has to do with nivelar. Pagué quince, vos solo me diste doce, dame los tres pesos. What happened to you, Maria Isabel, in, ah. in selectos <laughs> that they With give the you the, <laughs> the gift card? <laughs> See, the gift card because they don't have the mangoes I wanted. <laughs> you have a lot of, a lot of uh, stories about that, Maria Isabel. I yeah. can tell you that. Okay, so guys, any other vocabulary? How do you say um, cobro mensual? Monthly payment. Monthly, monthly fee. Mm -hmm. Monthly fee monthly or, charge. or monthly payment. Mm -hmm. Cargo annual. Annual fee. Yearly fee. Yearly, Yearly fee or fee. annual fee. Annual fee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, how what do you is, say... Where, mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, what is the meaning of brain tree? PayPal's brain tree, that's where another... That was the, that, the, that is the brand, as far as, as I understand. PayPal's, I know that it's, it's, it's a brand that for you to pay online, mm -hmm. but Braintree? I guess is the brand of the company, the name of the company. Okay. I guess, because that I have never seen. It's a game of words. Good. Have you ever had to cancel something and they tell you, okay, you can cancel, but you have to pay $100 to cancel? The credit card. Credit yeah. cards. Or uh, telephone companies that I don't want to mention to avoid any kind of dispute on my against me. <laughs> so that's a termination fee, guys. Termination fee. Termination fee. So this mm -hmm. normally happen in a credit card. Now, what yeah. kind of and these are normally or sometimes hidden. That means that you don't realize if you don't read the terms and conditions, the 20, 25 pages. So what hidden fees can we have in a restaurant? The tip. The tip, correct. The tip, the tip okay. Uh -huh, exactly. That's why at the bottom they said uh, tip not included or tip included. So people know they have to pay. What other scenario can you have hidden fees? On the restaurant? On deliveries. Okay, on deliveries, right? <laughs> the delivery fee. Mm -hmm. So we have two scenarios. We have restaurants, we have uh, deliveries. Hospitals. Hospitals. Jesus Christ. In right? the airlines. Airlines. Okay, so we have hospitals. We got airlines. We got restaurants. Cell phone companies. Cell phone companies. The CESC, the CESC fee company. that we have here in El Salvador, sometimes is hidden. That is the one the, for the cell phones, right? Yeah, and all the electronics, um, I think. I don't know how to write it down. Is it like this? Yeah. Mm, yes. What about the mechanic? Have you ever yeah. taken your car to the mechanic? Yes. And they yeah. say, oh, it's, yeah. uh, it was $100, but I had to do this. I had to do the other one. Bam. It is $500. They found a lot of broken things. Or, or make oh. the mechanic. Sometimes they charge you for the guy when they were trying if your car was fixed correctly. Exactly. You say, you, and you say, why, why this $10? Oh, because we put gasoline for, let's uh, take the car to try and anything, see if it works. Hidden charges and they use airplane gasoline, which is more expensive. Gas. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you when you try to fix your wash machine or your fridge, okay. Or so, when you are building your house or making a a repair in your house. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good. Now, any other vocabulary that you might want to know before we go to the break rooms? Um, overwhelming. Overwhelming is that. How can I explain overwhelming? Overwhelming is something like too much. or a situation. Uh -huh, like it's too much. It doesn't really make you think. Too much for handling. Mm -hmm. Overwhelming. How do you say overwhelming in Spanish? Abrumado. Abrumado. 
Overwhelmed. Uh -huh. Overwhelmed. I don't believe myself a gringo, guys. I just didn't learn translating. That's why it's difficult for me to translate. All right, so this is what we're going to do, guys. I wanted to have a little chat. What you're going to do is this one. Um, I'm going to create groups, and you're going to choose the... Well, we're going to work in the groups of three. Breakout rooms. Gladys, Juan Carlos, and Morena. Choose hospitals, airlines, restaurants, cell phone companies, or mechanic. Just one, real quick. Morena, decide. Cell phone companies. Cell phone companies, great. Allison, Roxana, Sara. Hospital. Which one? Hospital. Hospitals. Hospitals, okay. Andrea, Eric, Karen. Um, electronics. Okay, electronic repairs, right? Aldo, Amy, Daniel. Airlines. Good. Okay. And Marcela and Maria Isabel, you got restaurants, right? Restaurants, okay. <clears throat> okay, great. So, guys, you can make up any kind of fee you have. Okay, se pueden inventar cualquier tipo de hidden charge. Mm -hmm. And what I need you to do is to create a role play. I'm going to give you enough time. So when we come back, you're going to act it out, right? For example, I'm at a restaurant. Oh, uh, honey, this was, thank you very much for taking me out for dinner. Uh, this was on our anniversary, I appreciate. And thank you for paying. Waiter, the bill. What? $78, but we just ate two hamburgers. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir, but the thing is that there is an extra cost because of the cheese. There is an extra cost because of the lettuce. There's an extra cost because of the napkins. Remember, you didn't mm -hmm. tell me that. These are hidden charges. No, sir, this is actually in our policy, but I came here, blah, 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 blah. Right, and you try to interact. You can use reported speech as yesterday. Honey, the waiter says that blah, blah, blah. The waiter asked me, okay? So that's what you're gonna do is 9.23. I'm gonna give you, we're gonna come back for taking attendance at 9.45. So you got time to plan it and you got time to practice. No more than two minutes presentation for all of you. I mean, not for, for the whole group, for the three of you. Any questions? Uh, how do you say cobrar? Charge. Okay, charge. Charge, billing. Um, yeah, those are the two that I know. The whole members of the group have to participate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if it's a group of three, one of you can be the supervisor, you know, the, the waiter, the supervisor, and the customer, for example. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Any other question? Nope. Right now. Okay. Go ahead and accept the invite, guys. I'll be visiting you to help you. Hello, Andrea, can you hear me? Did you get the invite? I love nobody, nobody asked for it. Yes. So we can do like, um, I'm, I'm entered the, the class late so uh -huh. i don't know if the conversation or role play it's only for this vocabulary um, or no. the reported speech exactly not, not, reported. Not necessarily, but try to use reported speech that is better you know so you okay. can put it in practice but you can say whatever you want in this okay. minute presentation 
Perfect. Thank you. For the okay. restaurant, we can uh, be a waiter, a super a, a client, and a supervisor, maybe. It could be. Waiter. Okay. But in this case, since you are a woman, it's going to be waitress. Waitress. Okay. Yeah. Waiter is the male. Waitress. Okay. Waitress. Waitress. Okay. Supervisor. Waitress, supervisor, and a customer. Mm -hmm. Customer. Okay. okay. So, so, who do you want to be? Customer. <laughs> okay. Like a supervisor. Okay, so improvise. <laughs> improvise, okay. see how it goes, and then you start practicing. Use your timers so you make a two minute presentation and make sure all of you to use at least once reported speech. Okay. Okay. No include, no include. All of these, all of the hiring, hiring fee. Hidden. For example, that that kind of airlines uh, is a uh, low charge, low cost. Right? Yeah. Low cost, yeah. Low cost or low budget too. Low cost. Yes. That, that, That's those why kind they of, Those the kind of airlines uh, charge you if you want to, to 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 fly with a a kind of luggage. You have to pay for it. You only have a, a your handbag. A, your handbag, exactly. Yes. If I if I, if I need uh, some some soap maruchan, is a cost <laughs> additional cost in yeah. the flight. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it, it's pre it's a it's a special request for you. <laughs> okay. This is another one. This is another one, and, and 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 this charge I think is very very um, uh, slow. Oh no. Um, pequeño, small, small charge. Small, small charge. Small charge. Because yes. for example, Avianca, Avianca charges uh, almost two and two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. Almost. This is for for kids. Yeah. When that are the, flying alone. When a minor is flying alone. Mm. Because they have to put a, a an employee to take care of the the minor since you left him left him on the on the airport in the, on airport. the in the airport and the at the at the, at the counters. And they go with with him or with her to all the, the all the time until he he aboard during the fly. Only only uh, until they aboard to the plane. And when they aboard to the plane, they no sé cómo se dice lo encargan con otra con otra con alguna flight attendant. A flight attendant takes care of the of the child. Uh -huh. A flight attendant takes care. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I like the fact that you're uh, making the conversation and everything. Remember, guys, it's got to be a two-minute presentation. Make sure each one of you uses reported speech at least. And you decide, hey, why are you charging me? It's because of the mind, whatever. Or you are at the plane and they don't let you out of the plane because you drank a bottle of water. They are charging $25. You don't want to pay for it. The cops arrive. Whatever. Use your imagination. But practice it. Time yourself, okay? Two minutes. Okay. Good. See you at forty-five. Okay. Okay. Let's start with okay. the. Okay. Who's going to? If she there was a, pro no. I think it's a client asked me if there was a problem. If no, ah, a client the, asked me. With conditionals, yes. you're gonna get confused. <laughs> if. Um, there was a problem because as you in in simple present, right? Repeat the question, Eric, please. 
Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, what is my, what was my question? You, you, you said that you lost uh, your purchase ticket. Okay, that's it. I lost the ticket, but I have the contract here. Is that a problem? Okay, so a client asked me if there's a problem. I know <laughs> if there's. Uh, there... Ask me if there's a problem if because he lost because he lost the purchase ticket. I think it's it, it that way. A client asked me if there was a problem because he lost uh, the purchase ticket. Correct. There was a problem because he lost the purchase ticket. Okay. But he ha but he had the contract. But he had he had he had the contract. He has okay. the person. He has he has. has. Good job, okay, guys. Bye. Thank you for participating. Remember, you got until nine forty-five. Set a timer because it has to be a two-minute role play, and each bye. and every one of you gotta use reported speech at least once. Okay. Each one. Each one. At least once. All right. See you at 9.45. Do your best. Practice, okay. okay? Practice, practice, practice. Thank you. That You're he welcome. has the contact. So I'm going to know that they are, that they were an extra piece. Okay. So. Okay. Did you do did How you, you write? say extra feel? Extra feel. Fees. B. Fees. Double E. Yes, that's the extra fees. Feel. Okay. Just feel, right? Yeah. What extra feel? The how do you say everything in I have to check? I'm going to search. Los zapatitos que se le ponen, los cubre zapatos, porque esa es una. Yeah, they, uh, in the hospital, they used to give you a teacher how a special canasta. Shoe basket. covers. Canasta. Shoe covers, okay. Basket. Canasta. Mm -hmm. basket. Ah, basket. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the hospital, they, they used to give you a basket with a basic thing for the baby. Oh, no. <laughs> I have seen that in the Primero de Mayo. Yes, I, I know. I'm, a I'm acting. Reminder. <laughs> este, Roxana, and yeah. you, can, and you can write to, este, is uh, 100 for that, 200 for that, and you're okay. going <laughs> for 100 for the shoe covers <laughs> yes that the, the doctor said that is 100 for da, la, la. Yo, no. Good. can Girls, you put the um, baby inside again <laughs> can you give it back sorry sorry to interrupt good job i like what you're doing uh, remember it's going to be a two minute presentation so time yourself use Teacher. a timer and is, make sure that you use reported speech at least once per person. Mm -hmm. Once okay, per sorry. person, okay. Este, okay. How do you say, can you, can you put the baby inside inside again? Yeah, excellent, you can say it all, oh, oh man. So expensive, I don't want this baby anymore. Here. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Just, just make it up. Good, good, okay. good. Continue girls. Thank you. How are you doing, guys? Hi. And we are dancing. <laughs> we are moving forward. Oh, okay, moving we are moving forward. forward. Uh -huh. Let me write it. We are making progress. Different ways and of saying it. Okay. Now, remember, it's going to be... We need a new cell phone for my daughter. What kind to, to have? What, what kinds do you have? What kinds do you have? Uh-huh. Good. Before you continue, guys, a friendly reminder. Um, you have to speak for two minutes as a group. All right? So time okay. yourself. Use a timer. And you got to use at least 
one time each reported speech. At least once okay. each, just with one sentence, I'm satisfied. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have until 9.45. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. me, Morena. Well. <laughs> oh. I put girls. a special suit. You can until 9.45. I yes, to remember, to remember. we are going to practice then. <laughs> okay, rock it, rock Code. it. Code. 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 Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I may say the hospital policy said, no, because it's not a person, right? Or oh, I can say that. Good question. The thing is that it doesn't, that's a Spanish, like dice. Yeah. But you can use states. And that uh, counts like a request, L like a, a report speech. The hospital police. The... You know what? Good question because you're talking about reading material. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I mean, you can make it fit. Grammatically, you can make it fit, but I don't know if it's correct, to be honest with you. It's a good question. You can say something like... Uh, yeah, what, something else, like the, do the doctor said. Or the something. doctor said, or <laughs> if you want to use that, the, the policy states, right, that you have to, I mean, normal, normal speaking, you don't have to make it reported speech. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Good, see you at 9.45, you. you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. No, but I think we we uh, we need to use reported speech. Yeah, so uh, you you have to call your wife uh, when I tell you that uh -huh. uh, when I tell you that that you have to let yourself on for a, a few days. Then you said that you you say that you're going to ask your wife if that's okay. Uh huh. And, and, and okay. you you you. Okay. You will say, uh, hi, honey, the customer service uh, told me that I need to let, my, to let, let my myself on yeah. for a few days. Is that okay with you, honey? Okay. Hmm. Suspicious. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask to my wife. Let me ask to my wife. No, too. Let, Let me ask, ask my wife. Mm -hmm. Let me ask my wife. Hi, honey. Hi. Uh, <laughs> they, they ask me. They ask the me sir. if one, okay, one, one September the second and coming back on ah. September ninth. Yes. Yes. A cheap price, please. Okay, let me ask to my supervisor, please. Okay. Let me ask uh, my, no two, ask two. Okay. Let me ask my supervisor. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Amy, I have a customer uh, on the line and she, he is asking for a special price for a ticket going to San Francisco. He will depart on September the 2nd and he will come back on September 9th and he tries to get a cheap ticket. For <laughs> us. <laughs> and she is very serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um I no see no me That's right, I don't want to say. Remember that it's about hidden charges, right? I don't wanna add any pressure on you, but you got four minutes. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we uh, can give him a discount 
and we can. Um, in, in the little print, you can see that we charge uh, the, the tip in every order that you do. And how much is the, the percent of the tip? 10%. But if you say 10% and I am spending 3.75, that will be only 37 cents or 38. And for getting to the $5.50, there is no. Did I break something? No, I, I guess it's uh, the, <laughs> we are charging you for the, for the straw that you use because it kills the environment. So if you want to kill the environment, we are charging you. Because I, I, I use what? <laughs> the internet or what? Oh, that's true. You could say that you are charging me because of the use of the, of the, of the yes, internet. Yes, you connect to, to our Wi-Fi, so we have to, to charge you because we have to pay it. And it's expensive. Okay. I will pay and let me, let me please make a telephone call. And quickly before I pay, I give you the money to say, see, Celia, Take please time, okay. wait for me because the waitress here is, is was charging me something that I didn't. <laughs> so now they they made the correction, and I have been told that they are sorry and anything. But anyway, I will pay more than I was expected to pay. So I am. Uh, please wait for me. I am 15 minutes late. After that, Marcellus Falls. Again, <laughs> <laughs> and I will give you the fifty the five dollars and fifty cents. Thank oh, you. Nice. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Okay, no problem. I'll be back for the three beers. Another oh, my <laughs> oh my fault! Oh my fault! I give you fire. the three beers. <laughs> but job, this is going to fire me. <laughs> Alrighty, girls. So, little by little, people is going to start coming back in 15 seconds. In 10. I guess that they are still practicing. Alrighty, guys. It is good to see all of you. I see nervous faces, I see worried faces, and I see happy faces. Okay, so before we start, let me go ahead and, and take attendance the last time. Ana Maria Mazuquins Rivera? No? Then I got Ernesto Antonio Palacios? No. Nope. David Orlando Nerio? Nope. Patricia Adriana Martinez Merino. Oh, there, there, you present. there you are. Thank you for being able to make it. Gracias por lograrlo a la conferencia. And uh, Celia Carmina Pileda. No? Okay. So, guys, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I am going actually to count the time. Hey. Yep. So I'm gonna be using a stopwatch. That means that you're gonna be hearing when the when it finishes. Oi teacher. Oi teacher. Okay. So let me get it ready. Let me see who's group number one. I have my microphone and guys you will be the judges. That means that I need you to pay attention if each member of the group is using reported speech. All right? Now, group number one, it is the same as the breakout. I'm not cheating. I don't have anything against anybody. It is what it is, right? So I got group number one, Gladys Juan Carlos Morena. Keep it in mind, group number two, Alison Roxana Sara. Group number three, Andrea Eric Karen. Group number four, Aldo Amy Daniel. And group number five, Beatriz Marcela Maria. So you're going to have two minutes 
and you're gonna hear when this finishes. Okay, so okay. group number one, three, two, one, go. Nadis, star. You're muted. Okay, estos 10 segundos se van a resetear. I'm going to reset it. Gladys, you're muted. Gladys. Wow. Sorry. Okay. Go. Okay. Hey, Dad, I need a new cell phone. This is broken. What? But I bought it once the last month. What happened? Nothing is que coinciden. Continue, continue, don't stop. Continue. Gladys. Yes, Gladys. it's broken. It's from the last year. Okay, well, anyway, let's go to the store. Good morning. Welcome to the best cell phone store. How can I help you? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, my daughter say she needed a new cell phone. What kind do you have? Well, this is the new cell phone in the country. Uh, it have um, good camera and, and a good memory. Just have to pay $100 for the cell phone. Okay. It's a little expensive, but well, I went that one. Now, this is your ticket, your contract and your cell phone. Gladys? Yeah. Hey, why are we paying $150 if you told us that it was only $100? Okay, let me. Yes, but we, we have to pay the SAS. Uh, we add administration fee, network fee, manage the document, and legal assistance. And in this case, for the services. It is very expensive for cell phone. Sorry, daughter. <laughs> Just finish. Perfect timing. Great job. Yeah. 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 What a bad father. What a cheap father. We need a more time. <laughs> more time. Great. Um, guys. For visit other store. <laughs> nice. Remember, it is not easy to talk in front of others. So thank you very much. Question, did they use reported speech? Yes, we try. <laughs> yes, we try. <laughs> okay. It's something. I heard reported speech from Juan Carlos, but I'm not sure if I heard reported speech from Gladys or Morena. Did you guys hear reported speech? I heard, I heard the reported speech of Gladys. Okay, Me saved too. by the bell. And what about More? More, I don't know. Oh, so you're gonna be doomed, More. <laughs> yes, no, but oh, you say only one for the conversation. <laughs> yeah, we thought that it was one for the for the group. Okay. Yes. No worries. Okay. <laughs> Trustable lady. Yes, okay? only one. La vieja confiable. I didn't know. Okay, don't worry about it, guys. You did a great job. <laughs> I liked it. So, group number two, Alison, Roxana, and Sara, go. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening. I came to take my two treasures, my beautiful wife and my daughter. Good. You have a beautiful family. Yes, I fall in love uh, uh, to her uh, five years ago. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. How do you feel, baby? Well. Baby. I feel well, but you know, it still hurts. Yes, but you, you did a great job. I love you. Oh, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> but before, excuse me, excuse me, but before you leave the hospital, you have to pay the hospital bill. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I have the cash uh, to pay. Uh, what is the amount of the surgery? Perfect that you have the cash. Here is the bill. Oh, let me see. <gasps> oh my <laughs> God. Why I must pay 2,000 more? 
Yes, that's the extra fee. What extra fee? Uh, honey, the doctor said that we will have extra charge, which they will give us at the end of the surgery. Why? I asked them if I, mu if I must to pay if I'm going to see you, but it doesn't like that. Yes, the shoe covers $100. The special suit, $100 more. And the glass of water that you take, $10. <gasps> wow. The oh, doctor so said that you have to pay the extra things you use. <gasps> No way. Okay. Just wait me, baby, here. And I go to learn money. But if I can ca have more cash, uh, I'm going to leave them here and you can keep them. Or can you put the baby inside again? <laughs> oh, I'm getting divorced. <laughs> oh, bye. Let's run. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Round of applause. Good job. 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 <laughs> That's a bad husband, by the way. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Yes. <laughs> All righty, guys. Um, great job. I liked it. I like the creativity. I like the, the, that you got into the character. So that was great. Couple of things. Careful with the um, modal verbs. For example, must doesn't have to. Oh, okay. Must to is just you must and the verb within the base form. Okay. Right? There are very specific modal verbs like have to, out to. They have to in the modal verb. For the other ones, you don't use it. Okay? Great job. I liked it. And uh, I heard reported speech from Roxana, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. From Allison. Me? What was it? Did you guys when hear I it? said that I asked the doctor and the, and he said me that ah, and he told yes. me he told me I'm remember sorry. say versus tell okay yes, great job me. I liked it I liked it I liked it next we're gonna go with Andrea Eric and Karen yeah all right, all right. three two one go Eric. <laughs> Eric, you're mute. Hello. Good morning. I bought this uh, cell phone last week. Can you help me, please? Yeah, sure. Can you show me your purchase ticket and your ID? Uh, man. That would be a trouble because I lost the ticket, but I have the contract here. Is that a problem? I'm going to ask to my su supervisor if that's okay. Can you wait a minute? Okay, no problem. Okay. Hi, Karen. Oh, hi, Andrea. Good morning. Good morning. So, a client asked me if there was a problem because he lost his purchase ticket, but he has his contract. Oh, I think that is not a problem, but uh, what, what is the problem with the client? He wants to repair a cell phone but that he bought he in the store, but now it's broken. Mm, I suppose it, it's a it's a Nokia because we have had uh, problems with that model. So the reparation policy said that Nokia model has guarantee for one year. So there is no a problem. You, you can okay. Tell. Okay. Thank you, Karen. You're um, welcome, Mr. Eric. Yeah. Go ahead. My supervisor said that there's no problem with you losing your ticket. Can you let me your cell phone for, uh, let me see, maybe two weeks so we can check on it and see if there's a problem so, uh, we can work on? Uh, let me ask, did you say two weeks? Yeah. Okay, let me ask my wife. Honey, uh, uh, I'm talking to the the manager of the store and they and she asked me if I can leave the cell phone for two weeks. Oh no honey, that's not a problem. <laughs> okay, uh, my wife said that there's not a problem so here's my phone, I'll be back in 15 days. Okay, thank you, see you in two weeks. See you, take care. So two weeks, two weeks later. 
Uh, uh, hello, I'm back. I'm looking for my phone. Hi, Mr. Eric. We, work, we worked on your cell phone and we found a problem, but now it's fixed. This is your bill. You can check it. What is this? Uh, uh, those are the fees that we charge for fixing the problem with your cell phone. You didn't tell me anything about this. Why? I'm so, I'm so sorry. Those were on our reparation policy. You can check it. Yeah, but I suppose I already paid for this. Okay, no problem. I won't be back never here. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. That's it. Okay, good. Nice. Like that. Round of applause, guys. Good job. I like the mute. I like the mute clap, clapping. All right, guys. Uh, did you hear reported speech in all of in all of them? In the Eric and Andrea. Okay. And and Karen reported. I'm not yes, sure. I heard the three of them. You heard the three of them. Okay, good. Yep. Couple of things, guys, real quick, because we got more people. Ask to, preguntarle a. That's a Spanish right there. It is normal from people uh, that speak Spanish learning English. So just ask my mom, ask my wife, ask my boyfriend, ask my son. Eliminate two. Um, also, okay. what is the past of can? Could. Could. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. So careful with that one. And ask, ask to me. In reported speech, don't get me. Because you're gonna say, ah, uh, you're gonna say it later on. A customer asked if I, uh, if I could, right? So in that case, you don't need me because you have I later on. Great, liked it. Next, it is uh, Aldo mm -hmm. with um, Amy <clears throat> and Daniel. And Daniel, okay, okay, rocket guys. Okay, good afternoon, sir. Am I calling to Pericos Travel? Yes, Daniel. Uh, yes, uh, you're calling to Pericos Travel. This is Aldo. How can I help you? Okay, Aldo, I need to buy a cheap ticket flight to San Francisco City or San Francisco country. Okay, uh, in which day do you want to go? And I, I traveled, I will travel in in the next in the next month uh, uh, on Saturday on Saturday 10th and and I return to the next Saturday in the same month okay uh, let me ask my supervisor about the price about the ticket please okay hold on a second please uh, hello Amy hello Aldo I got a customer on the line and he he asked me for a cheap ticket to San Francisco. What can we do for him? Okay, actually the price of the ticket is $575 and okay. everything is included. But you said that he asked if we had a special discount for him. So yes. we are going to do something. We are going to give him the Periquitos flying package. And that is going to be just for $450. But you have to remember all the conditions that we have with that price. Okay, we only allow the handbag, right? That's correct. Okay, and he had to pay for uh the extra baggage and for you for the food and for the use of the restroom on the on the plane yeah okay <laughs> that's correct and he has to pay for everything extra perfect let me see what what is what is his choice okay okay daniel thank you for waiting on the line uh i just talked with my supervisor and she's she said that the we can give you the Periquitos fly. Okay. And uh, the ticket will be on $450, but we, you, have, you only have uh, your handbag 
with you. If you want to carry on another baggage, you have to pay for it. Also for the food, the water, and the use of the restroom on the plane. Do you agree with that? Okay, um, I think this is, it is very, very cheap, but when I including uh, all of all of all of things, which for example baggage, a uh, uh, pet, for example, and my my maruchan soap, this is so expensive. I need um, a more price. I need a cheap price. Cheaper price. Okay, that's the cheaper price that we had, that we got the the right. travel. Time. So sorry to interrupt, guys. I gave you three minutes instead of two. Good. I mean, I like the fact that you can continue talking, so that's great. Round of applause, guys. Okay, um, guys, did you hear the? Did you hear the reported speech? Yes, I heard the reported speech. The three of them. For the three of them. Okay. All right. Good, guys. Call two. You do not use call two. You just say call. Same as ask. Let me, how do you say, déjame llamar a mi esposa? Let me call my wife. Call my wife. Call my wife. Call my boss. Call my supervisor. No two. In which day? En cual día? Spanish. When? Right? Easier. When? And pronunciation special. 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 Great, great, great. Guys, the last one real quick because we, we don't really have time anymore. Bea Marcela Maria, Rocket. Two minutes sharp. Action. Good evening. Good evening. I would like you to give me the check, please. Yes, I will give to you um, table 14. This is your check. Okay, let me see it. I am looking here that you are charging me for three beers and two sandwiches. I only had one sandwich and one orange juice. Check if this chair, if this is really mine. Okay, uh, I'm going to to with my supervisors because he has uh, the computer with all the orders. Let me check that. Please wait a minute. Um, hi, Beatriz. Hi. Uh, the lady from the table 14 says that this is not her check, that we are charging her uh, three beers and two sandwiches, and she orders just one sandwich and one orange juice. Okay, let me check. Okay, I can see in my computer she ordered three beers. Oh, she, said, she says she didn't ask for it. Okay, I don't know what happened. What table is? 14. 14. Okay. What did she order? It says that she only orders uh, one sandwich and one orange juice. Okay. She said that she ordered one juice and a sandwich. So tell her the correct charge is $5.50 with 50 cents. And sorry for the inconvenience. I will let her know. Um, hello, uh, the supervisor says that she's really sorry because of the inconvenience and this is your right check and it's five dollars with, with 50 cents so you um, only let me know if the pay is going to be in cash or in a credit card. Let me see it again. Now that I am uh, seeing carefully I can see that uh, the sandwich I ordered, uh, the price was $2.50, and the orange juice, the price is $1.25. So why are you charging me $5.50 if we put the numbers together, and be paying only $3.75? So why, please? Uh, one is the charge of the tip that you can see it in the little print on the menu. And also we are charging you because you connect, you're connected to our Wi-Fi. So... But you didn't, and nobody told me about those um, hidden charges, but the little print, okay, it's okay. Before I pay you, please uh, wait a minute because I need to make a telephone call. 
So I will call. Celia, please, will you please uh, wait for me longer because it's taking too long. The, the waitress just told me that I have been charged with three beers that I didn't have, but I also told her now that I will pay only what I really have eaten, had eaten. So uh, I'll be I'll be there, but I am uh, I'll be a little later. Please wait for me. Okay, thank you. Okay, Miss, I will pay, but I think I recommend that the next time you should say before they bring the service, you should say that you will charge me. Just even thank you. You're charging me because of the air I'm breathing. Because nobody told me before that I will pay for the All internet right. connection, but it's okay. I will give you. The five dollars and fifty back for the records. I'm getting late to my friend because of you. All right. Thank you. We are getting late. All right, guys, girls. <laughs> thank you very much. Good job. Round of applause. Mute if you don't want to wake up your neighbors. All right. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for getting out of your comfort zone. I heard the reported speech from them. Did you hear it too? Yep. Yes. yes. There are yes. a couple of things to fix. Careful with the verbs. Careful with the switch back to the past. Okay. Guys, thank you very much. Hope you have a great weekend. Make sure you complete the homework. Get out of here. See you Monday. Take care. Okay, bye. See ya. Take care. Bye. 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 The homework is only on the 2.5, right? Yep. Perfect. Oh, 2.5. Mm -hmm. 2.5. Okay. I already did. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Take care.